Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy Shadow Stomper here, coming at you with a quick Photoshop tutorial. And I'm representing Next Level Studios, your number one stop for graphics, gameplay, and 3D animation. So, today I'm going to be coming at you with a Photoshop tutorial. tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make this background right here. It says Next Level Studios, our, our uh, channel's logo, a little bit of text, a little bit of carbon fiber up the middle, and a nice explosion effect around the outside. So uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and hop into Photoshop, get this puppy started. So what we need to do is we're going to File, New, and make our dimensions 1280 by 800, our resolution 72 pixels per inch, color mode, RGB color, and 8-bit background contents transparent. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, now we've got ourselves a blank canvas. And what we want to do is go ahead and make a new layer on top of that. And uh, what I like to do is I like to get my paint bucket, make sure uh, my black, my color, uh, my foreground color is black and my background is white. Drop some black text into uh, the second layer. Press Control T on your keyboard. And then go over here to your rulers and line them up in the middle. A little trick your friends will never show you because they're secret whores. Anyway. <laughs> delete the black layer. What we want to do now is go ahead to our gradient layer, which is a gradient tool, which is sometimes hidden underneath our paint bucket. So there we go. Now we want what we want to do is click a black to white gradient, but make sure reverse is checked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the middle of the cross here, holding the shift button. We're going to drag out from the center right to the outside of the canvas, and we should get this nice little uh, white to uh, darker black on the outside effect. So now what we need to do is go to filter, uh, go to filter gallery, and go to artistic, plastic wrap, and here are the dimensions. The plastic wrap dimensions are 19, 5, and 3. Go ahead and click OK. So now we've got kind of like a weird little, uh, I don't know, hippie effect. So next we need to go to filter gallery again and go to stylize glowing edges and uh, the dimensions for glowing edges are 1, 20, and 4. Go ahead and click OK. So we're going to go into our filter gallery one last time. Open it up and go down to texture and click stained glass. Now with stained glass the, um, the dimensions are this. Cell size is 2, border thickness is 1, and light intensity is 6. So go ahead and click OK. So now we've got a nice little explosion and shattered effect, but it doesn't really have the movement. So now what we need to do is go ahead and go into filter one last time and filter, actually, yeah, go to um, blur, radio blur. And uh, it needs to be, a blur method needs to be zoom, not spin, zoom, because you won't get the same effect with spin. Make sure the quality is at best, and I have my amount at 60. You can use whatever you want. So uh, 50 to 60 range, I find, usually works pretty good. So go ahead and click OK. And give this a second to render up. There we go. A nice zoomed effect. Looks really nice, doesn't it? So now um, what we need to do is we need to start working with our colors. The way that we're going to do that is go to Image, Adjustment, and then click on color balance. So what I want, uh, the way I have mine on my desktop is blue. You guys can choose whatever color you want. So in my yellows and blues, I'm just going to drag my blue out just a little bit. See, that's really dark. So I'm going to rack it down to about 69. And I'm going to click OK. So that's blue. But you know what? We want to give it some more highlights, some more, make it a, a nice bluish feel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our image adjustments and color balance one more time. This time we're going to check highlights and bump it up a little more. And there we go. We're starting to get some nice, I'm bringing back my cyan so we get a real nice dark blue explosion look. So there we go. That looks nice. So, um, that looks pretty good, but we can still sort of kind of see the uh, stained glass effect in the middle, which will, is kind of what we don't want. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, and then we're going to grab the gradient tool again, and um, this time it's going to be um, make a new one and make this color on the left hand side, this slider, a lighter gray, and then make the end a black color. Go ahead and click OK. Make sure it's radial, but this time we're going to uncheck reverse. We're going to go from the center again. Starting from the center, holding the shift 
holding the shift button and right outside there we go nice uh, nice little gray effect on top don't worry we're gonna we're gonna um, <laughs> we're gonna fix this what we need to do is uh, also while we're at it make our um, make this the blending mode of this layer of this um, no, actually we're gonna go to filter render clouds and then click uh, make the blending mode overlay and there you go a nice explosion effect with some blue and some colors it's really popping but we are not done now what we want to do is we're gonna get our logo and get it in here and get it centered up so I'm gonna go find mine and you guys can go find what you you're gonna put on here so let's see what we got next level yep there it is got mine so while I'm doing this you guys can find yours so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select my logo and delete it delete its background enter and then new layer and then delete deselect it get my move tool and drag it into here so there we go nice and it's, right now it's too big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control T I'm going to make this bring the size down a little bit see I have my, my transform uh, look here so I can line it up with the crosshairs which is really nice so there we go got a nice centered up press enter now it's all centered up and so the way I have mine I have a um, I have this uh, the carbon fiber middle and a um, another lighter uh, white box on the outside so the way we're gonna get that effect we're gonna go over here to our shape tool and click the rectangle tool make a new layer underneath our uh, logo layer which is right here and we're gonna work on this layer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a box where we hold shift actually no we're not gonna hold shift but just make a box from end to end make sure it's lined up and then once you have it press control T and then you go line it up with the center so we're all centered up and then we're gonna um, once that's done we're gonna make a new layer and drag it underneath your first box and make that this one white so we're gonna we kind of want to have to have some edges, give it some a nice little white edge on the. Uh, make sure it's kind of even, and then go ahead and press. There you go. So now we got the, the white band on top of the black band, and uh, so we we, we want to make sure it's centered. So we're gonna press Control T and drag it to the center. There you go. So now we have what we have is a. Um, what we have is a nice little band and our logo and everything's all centered up but we don't have the carbon fiber so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look for carbon fiber texture um, I just usually I go over here go to Google I'll include this link in the description I go to Google and I type in carbon fiber background you see you got a couple of nice ones and this one's the first one I found is actually pretty well pretty nice so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and save this right click save image as I'm going to save it to my downloads all right we'll close close it now what we need to do now is go ahead and open that up in our Photoshop and I said it was in my documents wallpaper uh, I'll make sure that this is included in the um, in the uh, in in um, in the the description, so you guys can download it and have easy access to it. So this is all the way down here. I have a lot of files. <laughs> all right, so we're coming on. There it is, right there. Carbon fiber looks sexy. All right, so we've got a layer zero. Get our move tool. Actually, what we want to do first is go back over to our uh, our black box and holding the control button, press and click on the shape, and then uh, you should this little marching ant should show up. So it's it's a selection. So go back over to our uh, carbon fiber wallpaper, drag it in to our um, our project, and just push it, put it on, put it down. Uh, we did not mean I did not mean to do that. Okay. So now that we need to D 
deselect first of all and then make sure it's lined up and then we can go back over here and press control and click and then what we want to do is we're going to go select inverse and delete there you go that's looking nice so now we've got our white background with our carbon fiber and our logo and now we just need some text I, uh, I like to use Helvetica Helvetica goes good with anything um, I'll have a link to a, 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 a font which is like Helvetica because Helvetica is like hundred sixteen dollars but um, yeah so I'm going to be using Helvetica um, I'll put it in the description because it's not like in English so we want to make sure that the font it's kind of big. Give it some, give it some depth for now. And I'm going to type in Next Level Studios. That's all right. It's okay. Let's try another one. Hmm. Uh, vertical world. Yeah, there we go. That looks right. Nice. We just want to line it up. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to fix it a little bit. That is how you make the Next Level Studios wallpaper, or your own wallpaper at that. Thanks for tuning in and sticking through me, sticking that, uh, sticking with me through this tutorial. Um, there's more to come. Um, get ready, cause uh, Next Level Studios is going to be bringing you all kinds of content. Um, yeah. This has been your boy Shadow Stomper representing Next Level Studios, your number one stop for gameplay, graphics, and 3D animation. This is Shadow Stomper. I love you guys. Peace out.